I wanted to uh, have you come on the show today, and, and you and I were talking about some traditional loan products for first-time buyers and repeat buyers, um, and, and kind of the requirements for credit scores uh, for both of those segments. A- absolutely, Amelia. Yeah, I wanted to touch you know, on these products. I mean, they're obviously traditional products that most people have heard of or, or worked with before, but I want to just uh, you know, touch base on them, let you know a little bit about kind of you know, the down payment requirements, credit scores, who qualifies for them, you know, just as something that they're out there. So uh, most people have heard of conventional. Typically, that's the most, uh, I want to say popular, but but it's Mm -hmm. usually one of the most preferred, um, you know, offers, conventional offer. What does that entail? If you're a first time home buyer right now, um, you can go as little as 3% down with a conventional financing on a single family home, which, you know, is, is very, very attractive for people who, you know, have high credit scores, but don't have a ton of money to put down to begin with, but it makes their offer stronger being conventional. So 3% down credit score requirements. Typically you want to be 640 is kind of lying in the sand, but ideally you want to be between 680 and 700 plus to be a mm-hmm. conventional, strong conventional buyer without having a ton of fees associated with the mortgage. Um, I would say that's the most common um, we can also do for a repeat buyer, a conventional on a single family home, 5% down. Again, it's, it's a great program for people looking to either sell an existing home, buying a new one, or just going conventional route to begin with. Um, they did just put a, um, a new new guidelines in play. We're probably aware of that with conventional now, we can do as little as 5% down on multifamily homes, two to four units. And that's very important for people because, um, you know, conventional typically they allow um, – you know, a little more wiggle room when it comes to the appraisal, when it comes to the uh, the approval process. Conventional is really a great program here. But then again, we, as, as, we, as you know, not everyone falls in that bucket. So there are other traditional programs out there, such as FHA is one I want to touch upon. Um, mm-hmm. And you know this, you see a lot of FHA offers in this market. Right. Um, it is for first-time home buyers or repeat home buyers. Um, mm-hmm. One thing you have to stress that you can only have typically one FHA loan out at a time. So if you have an FHA loan on a house, that maybe now is even an investment property, you cannot use it again unless you refinance that. And and with that program, it's 3.5% down. Um, typically, we want a 600 credit score, but we can go as low as 580. And, and you know, other programs, you know, we talk about um, VA, for example. That's another hot topic. If you're a veteran, listen to the call here. I mean, VA is, to me, the best program out there. It requires, you know, you have no PMI. There is no down payment requirement. And you can go from a one to four unit property, owner occupied, of course. But think about that. You want to buy a house, you know, five hundred thousand dollars, no money down. You can use rental income to qualify them on a, on a uh, invest in, on a multifamily, no PMI. Which again, PMI is private mortgage insurance, and that's something where if you have less than twenty percent down, in addition to your normal expenses, you also pay uh, an insurance premium for for mm-hmm. risk reasons. So that's and again, and and with VA loans, the interest rates are actually better than they are on most programs. So it is a great product out there. We can go as low as 580 as well in certain circumstances. Usually 600s we want to be at. So keep that in mind. Um, another program I want to talk about really quickly was USDA. And USDA mm-hmm. loans are, again, similar to VA. They're not for veterans necessarily. They're for anyone. But there's certain parts of the state in Rhode Island that, you know, USDA, US, US Department of Agriculture, there's certain towns, for example, Foster, um, certain parts of the state where, you know, they, they've deemed them those they, they're you can qualify. You can actually no money down for USDA loans for one to four unit properties. Again, mm-hmm. 580, 600 credit score requirements. A good program. There is PMI, but you definitely, you're not going to get better than no money down. You know, they have the Rhode Island housing programs we've talked about in the past, and they're still available as well. Not the 17,500, but there are other, you know, down payment assistance where they, they are they have to be paid back, but it's still a way to, you know, get up to $15,000 from the state you can use towards your down payment or even closing costs. So, I mean, these are the most common programs that we see today. And I think that for every, every client, everyone I speak to, I go over all their options and and let them know, you know, Hey, listen, this is what you qualify for, you know, give you an idea of what payments would look like down payment requirements, and then at least give them an educated uh, breakdown of what, what they can, you know, what, what their options are out there right now.